Lauren really McCullough, I'm going to pick on you. You're, you know, everyone's been talking about you, <laughs> symbolically at least. You're, you're a sophomore at Santa Rosa High, just, just down the street from my house in Santa Rosa. Does this resonate with you, Lauren, these older ladies talking about cultural symbols? Does, has, has your career or your identity been affected by the absence of women in movies like Nima? Yes. Why? Completely. <laughs> Um, I think that it's my identity and stuff like that has really been affected because it took me a while to realize or to start asking this question, but once I started asking this question, it was Which everywhere. Which question? Why aren't there any women here? Uh, we all work here at the Foundry. Um, my name's Soren, I'm the director here. Um, I don't have answers. Uh, I have a lot of personal connection to the problem. I have a 10-year-old daughter. Um, she's uh, one of the best math students in her elementary school in Palo Alto, and she doesn't want to be known for being good at math. So She doesn't want? Sorry? Want to be known for being good at math? Why? I have a, I don't know. So I don't have answers for this stuff. Um, I will say, though, that um, women are a big part of what happens here. Um, Categorically, this place is better because of women. Uh, we have women on almost every project, and I know that it's different. So I have a very, I'm a very technical person. So if you ask for technical people, he, he'll back me up. Um, I'm a historian, so if you have three hours, I'll let you. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, I, I, someone suggested it takes a generation to change stereotypes, but it's much longer than that. These are very basic division, gender divisions of labor and that sort of thing. We put women in the workforce, but we haven't brought, we haven't changed the, the home place, you know, so we're all kind of having this double duty stress and that sort of thing going on all the time. So it, I would say it starts in the womb. I mean, it starts immediately. It's a very deep social problem. It's all it, through the it's schools. It's about imagery. A 10 year old who's really good at math, who's somehow ashamed of it. What do you do as a parent? No, she's not ashamed. She just doesn't want to be identified as it. So, so what do you do as a parent? Do you want to identify it? Do you talk to her about it? Do you, no, I, do you I, tell her it's cool? I have, a, um, I have kind of like a, a the, uh, whatever the martial art where you don't actually push, you just try to like oh, yeah. move around, <laughs> move energy around. Um, so I have a physical science background, so I lived the world where women are not as treated as equals. I watched my peers drop off, like, you know, as you went further and further. Um, I'm really concerned about it. Uh, what I do are subtle things. Um, so a very technical thing, if you go to an interview in the Valley, often they'll ask you about the Monty Hall problem, which is a well-known problem, a very hard problem to think through. Um, Bruce, she was at my house the other night. My daughter knows how to solve that problem. She knows the answer. She can explain it. Does she know? that I did that on purpose? Probably not. So I have, you know, so. But do you buy tactical. Robin's argument that this all begins at about that age? So even it's before just as bad school? if I tell her what to do to be a mathematician as it is if I tell her to be a beautician, right? It doesn't, it doesn't to me, it doesn't make a difference. I think um, my goal is just to preserve her options. Do women teach, <laughs> talk to you differently from men? Yes. In what way? I feel like women give me a little bit more respect I feel like women can relate to me better. I feel like they really kind of understand what's going on. And if I bring up an issue, to, I'm more likely to bring it up to a woman. Because the issues that I bring up are usually harder to explain to men. And I'm not trying to be sexist, but usually my problems are this boy has been making weird advances towards me. Um, this boy has been infantilizing me because I'm a girl. He doesn't talk to boys this way. And women are more likely to s take my side, whereas men are more likely to say, you're overreacting. <laughs>